Okay, so some cooking tips for you. Um, this one is basically how to get a smoky wood-fired flavor if you're using a propane grill and you don't happen to have um, like a wood plank to cook on on the propane grill, which I use a lot. Like I use cedar plank a lot or maple plank a lot to get flavor, especially with fish, tri-tips, things like that. Let's say you don't have that or you've drank too much beer like I always do and then you can't go to the store, you don't want to drive, right? So you're like, oh man. But if you have a fire pit, everything can be uh, done through that just using the coals of the fire pit and a simple broiler pan. So really, um, the whole thing is you, you get your broiler pan, you bring it outside to your propane grill, you got your fire pit there. Um, you know, you definitely don't want to use anything that's not a good wood. Like uh, some people burn some stanky stuff. I mean, you know, if you happen to be in California or whatever, you're, you're surrounded by a lot of good trees like oaks and things like that. So preferably grab something like that. You definitely don't want to use pallets. Let's not get to that point. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Uh, so essentially you want to bring out your... Um, your broiler pan, fill it from the coal with coals from the, the fire pit. Now you don't want to do too big of chunks, but just enough to the point where you can um, you know, use them and they can fit in the broiler pan and, and it doesn't make it lopsided. Alright, so like every five minutes what you want to do is you want to come out, you want to open up your grill lid there, and then you've got your broiler pan with your meat cooking in it nicely, and then you want to take the water bottle right here and you want to squirt some water down into the side. And once that does, it hits the coals and essentially there's steam that comes up from there and it gives it that smoky flavor and that wood-fired flavor without having to uh, you know throw it onto a, an actual fire pit or something like that and you reclose the lid wait about five minutes and then you do it again I hope that works out for you I mean thanks for watching as I learned stuff like I just threw this together one day I just kind of went oh wow I don't have wood so how am I gonna cook this fish and I just kind of went wow I got a fire pit let me see what this does so I learned how to do that um, so every once in a while I'm going to throw some tips up for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that and then uh, brew appetit.